I look like such a basic YouTuber with my Mac computer in the background. I should probably stop. Hey everybody, it's Lissa, and today I am doing an unboxing of my very first iMac computer, as you can see in the background. I'm super excited. I've already unboxed it, obviously, but I wanted to tell you guys before I show you the unboxing that this is not a brand new iMac computer. It is used, it is refurbished, and it's a 2011 version. So it is not brand new. I did not spend over $1,000 on this. This computer was only $375 on eBay, and I will put the link for it down below because I believe it's still being sold, and it works amazing. I'll show you all of the things that were wrong with it in the video, but there's just some minor scratches. The screen, there's no scratches on the screen, and it's pretty fast. It works pretty good for a late 2011 computer. I did not get this computer to be super fast. I just got it for college. I got it to edit videos occasionally, and obviously I have my MacBook, which I did spend a lot of money on, but I just wanted a computer for my room to do mainly video stuff because it's just taking up way too much storage on my laptop, and I would just like to have my laptop to be able to do like simple, just go on the internet and stuff. This whole bundle came with the wired board, and it came with a wired Apple mouse, and this keyboard is from 2007. The mouse did not say which year it was, so I'm not really sure, but it looks kind of old, so I'm not gonna use it. I just have my wireless mouse that I got for Christmas. So I have this big box right here to open. It's, I think it said it was 26 pounds on line, so I'm just gonna open it. <laughs> all this padding I think yeah this is just like big huge foam pieces <gasps> here's the keyboard it's a lot newer than I thought it would be it's a bit dirty on the back because it is used so I'll just have to clean it but this is nice it's and it's wired so it connects to a USB so that's that's good to use right now until I save up to buy a wireless keyboard. There it is. Okay, the website is right there and it's atrcomputers.net. So if you guys wanna check that out, I got this computer for a really good deal. Is that really the 21 inch? It looks like it. It's huge. You didn't expect it to be that size? No. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, first, here is the what adapter? What is the power adapter? Cord. Power cord. Um, here's the really old Apple mouse, which I have a wireless mouse that I'm probably just gonna use because this is like a really old Apple mouse. So I'm saving up to buy a wireless magic mouse and keyboard, but for right now this will work. The actual computer itself, it's a lot bigger in person than I thought it would be. This thing is heavy. Oh my god! what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and peel this off, which this is very satisfying to watch, so get ready. In the back, it's a little scratched up, and I don't even think it scratches, I just think it's dirty. So all I need to do is just buff that out. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's just scratches. Oh, not even really. There's just one little scratch right there. And then there's a little one right here that you guys might be able to see. But other than that, it just needs a really good clean. So at the side right here, you have your SD card slot, which is really good so I can edit videos. And then the DVD holder burner thing. I don't know what it's called. But I don't have anything in my house really that can play DVDs at least in my room, so it'll be nice to be able to watch movies and stuff on this because I have nothing that can actually play like my DVDs and like music and stuff that I have that's old. And then in the back, if you can see, where you connect the power cord is underneath this right here. And then the cords go through this little hole. And then there is a headphone jack, microphones, there are four USB ports. Okay, that one I believe is called Firewire. And that one's a display port, and that's if you want to connect directly with a, with a cord for the internet.
Okay, go ahead and press the power button. Whoa. <laughs> that was really loud. Okay, so here's all the welcome stuff. As you guys can see, there are no scratches on the front screen. I will give y'all a close-up of the screen. There's some smudges because I suck at getting fingerprints off. And the only minor issues are these little scratches right here. You guys can see the little scratches. And there's one right here. And then there's one on the Apple logo. Here is the listing on eBay of where I bought this. So. As you can see, that's what the picture looks like. But if you're on eBay and you're trying to find a computer, I don't recommend buying anything whose picture is just this. Make sure they have actual pictures that they took on a camera. And also make sure that they have very good ratings on eBay. Always look at the ratings. If they don't have any good ones, then don't buy from them. Also make sure to read all of the description. So I made sure to read all that. The memory is eight gigabytes on this one and the hard drive capacity is 250 gigabytes which I think is the same as my laptop, I'm not sure, but I, like I said, me and my dad are going to upgrade this thing, make it faster, have more memory and stuff. The screen size is a 21.5 inch um, Intel Core i3 second generation, processor speed and all that stuff like that. Like I said, it's not gonna be the best, but I don't care. As it says right here that there's four available and four sold, so I will put the link for it down below, and if you have the money and you get lucky enough to get it, then I totally recommend buying it. But if you can't, then there's ones that are just as cheap. Just make sure it's the storage that you want. I wanted to make sure I had at least the eight gigabytes of memory because there is the four gigabyte one, which I just, it would be not enough memory for me. So make sure that it has everything that you need and don't just buy it because it looks cheap. Make sure you do some research into it. That was the very quick unboxing. Um, my dad was talking in the background because my dad works with computers as a living, so he absolutely loves computers. So he was in the back watching me unbox it and helping me with the ports and stuff because I still don't know what some of the ports are. So if you could hear him, that's why. I totally recommend if you're not looking for the newest of new computers and you want a Mac, I totally recommend looking at the older versions, not really the 2009 one, more like 2011 and earlier. There's still ones that are even from 2013 and forward that are still under $1,000, especially on eBay. You just have to find the right seller. So um, if the link is still working for where I bought this, then I will put it down below so you guys can check it out. I really did get lucky at only paying $379 for this. It's, it's really good. If you have any questions about anything about this computer, or if you have any questions or video requests, then please comment down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye.